when I was 10 years old. Huh. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. They, they used to have a, we used to have at least a show every month, sometimes twice a month. They'd have smokers. You just come there with your shin pads and gloves and they wait that, you know, they weigh people, line you up and you fought. You know, what, like, like an aggressive sparring like, session. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you had shin pads and boxing gloves, um, and it were one minute rounds, mm. uh, three one minute rounds. You just fight. People would come out, and it was awesome. Um, for a long time, I did that for three or four years, or may- maybe even five years. I didn't want to become a pro fighter until probably <sighs> I say I. I I thought about it at like 16, stuff like that. I was already winning national championships all over the country at that age on, on the amateur level. But remember, I was doing a lot of things. Uh, I was a football star and track star. I played basketball. I was all around athlete. So I wanted to be in the NFL more than anything. Fighting was just something was like a, it was an adrenaline rush. You know, it was cool to do on the weekends. And it was something I always did. Um, so it, it was really nothing. It was just something I did. Um, my real dream was uh, football was like my favorite thing to do. That's why I made good grades in school and stuff like that, just so I could be on the football team. Uh, fighting was, was 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 much late, later after that. I was always fighting before I ever played football. But I love football more than all of this stuff. Uh, but at the t- as a Hall of Famer, as a coach and as a fighter, something must have clicked uh, at a point to say that you 